As we have seen on selecting any entity tab from the top navigation in AIO tests, we land on the listing grid for that entity. Here we are on our cases listing grid. Let's look at how to effectively use grids. AIO tests provides us convenient ways of viewing the case information without leaving the grid. We can access most of the case details just by doing a regular left click on any case row. That should open a panel on the right where you can find most of the case details. You can click through various case rows on the grid to review the cases one by one while keeping the right panel open. If you click on the selected case again, the right panel will close. There is another way of viewing the case information without leaving the grid. Out of the box, AIO test displays columns for five case attributes on the cases listing grid. Key, title, priority, status, and owner. However, we can customize the grid to suit our preferences. To do that, we can click on Select Columns icon, and from the resulting drop-down menu, we can choose the case attributes that we want to see on the grid. Let's select some of the case attributes. After choosing our case attributes, we can click on Update Grid, and our grid should be updated to show all the columns that we selected. This way, we can have a lot of information related to our cases at our disposal right on the grid. We can use the header of the grid to sort the cases on various attributes. The ascending or descending arrow next to the column name indicates the current sort status. As the application grows, there can be thousands of test cases. Let's now have a look at how we can use filters and search to see only relevant cases that we want to work with. We can click on the show filters icon to toggle the filters available to us. By default, AIO test displays filters for five case attributes, key, owner, case status, priority, and requirement. However, we can customize filters based on our preferences. To do that, let's click on Add Filters icon. That should open a drop-down menu where we can choose the case attributes on which we want to apply filters. Let's choose some case attributes. Let's click on Apply and our filter should now be available for the selected case attributes. Let's see how to use these filters to display relevant cases that we need on the grid. Let's say we want to focus on our critical cases that covers the requirement to do six. So let's first filter on requirement and search for our to do six requirement, select it, now, let's filter our critical cases. We can even save this filter criteria by clicking on Save Filter and giving it a name. To do six critical. Save. We can clear individual filters by going to the filter and clicking on clear selections or we can clear all the filters by clicking on clear all. We can reapply saved filter by going to select filter and selecting our to do six critical filter. We can also use our folder tree which we can access using this burger icon to filter cases conveniently based on folders. Clicking on any folder will list all the cases in the folder on the grid. If we have selected a parent folder, 
we can use this show items from subfolders icon to either view or hide cases from its subfolders. We can click on all cases link to show cases from all folders, including cases not assigned to any folder. Let's close the folder panel for now. There is a search option also available that can be accessed using this search icon. We can search and filter cases by searching based on simple text in key, title and automation fields. Let's try to filter our cases that have the priority word in their title. As we can see, all the cases having the word priority in their title have been listed on the grid. We can clear this filter by closing the search box.